What's going on, people? I have a debate question for you guys. If you were around during the Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis uh, era, like I was, then you remember Sega does what Nintendo don't. Well, I was just sitting here playing Sonic Adventure on the Xbox One uh, due to backwards compatibility. The game was on Sega Dreamcast, the game was on the GameCube, it's on the Xbox 360, and throughout all these little updates for the game, I started to think, did Nintendo do something Sega was unable to do? Which is transition from 2D into full 3D and not only make just a good game because a lot of argument is that Sonic is, is a good game. I have no arguments about that, it's a good game. But if it was given the attention in 2020, like how Crash was handled or how Spyro was handled, if they gave it the full blown attention and fixed the camera, because the camera is all over the fucking place. But if, if they took the time to really put the love and care into this, could Sonic Adventure not necessarily become one of the greatest remakes and reboots we've ever seen? Because I mean if we look if we look at the if we look at what happened between 2D and 3D here, Sega didn't and has never made a great transition game into 3D. Sonic doesn't have that great 3D game that really, you know, stands out. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, everybody loves Sonic Mania, but that's a 2D game. That's like a Sega Genesis game. Um, Sonic Adventure is good. A lot of people keep saying Sonic Adventure is good. I'm not saying it's a bad game, but do you not understand that Sonic 3D on the Sega Saturn was around first? The first Sonic game transition into 3D was on the Sega Saturn. And I don't even think it was good. I don't think people are going to say it was good because it keeps going to the Dreamcast. People keep bringing up the Dreamcast, the Dreamcast. No, 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 no. Listen, the reason I'm saying Nintendo's doing something Sega couldn't is because their first transition for almost every single first party game was received really well. I mean, think about it. With Nintendo, you had Mario go from Mario uh, 3 to Mario 64. I mean, you have Super Mario World, but it's still a 2D game. And most people, when we're talking 2D games, consider Mario 3 to be the uh, pinnacle of 2D games. And remember, Mario Odyssey is the most recent Mario. And when they were talking about it before it came out, they were comparing it to Mario 64. Now, we can do this with all franchises, right? We'll, we'll go through all the franchises. Okay, we had Metroid, which Metroid uh, on Super Nintendo is still arguably one of the greatest Metroids. However, we are going into Metroid Prime 4 now, whenever that game comes out. But Metroid Prime going into 3D actually worked out better than a lot of people hoped. Even though it took to the uh, GameCube for it to happen... It still happened, and again, that's because Samus takes a break every third generation, so let's talk facts here, okay? Even though uh, Metroid on Super Nintendo is still arguably one of the greatest Metroids, it's not like Metroid Prime is a bad game. It's actually one of the best received Metroids going into the 3D. People were afraid of that, and then they did it. And it worked. We have games like, what else? Mario Kart 8 now. Mario Kart started on Super Nintendo. We can say it's 3D-ish if you want to, but it's still a 2D type game to me, right? So Mario Kart, one of the biggest kart racing franchises of all time. We can do this with The Legend of Zelda. Arguably, this is the best one right here. Legend of Zelda. We had A Link to the Past, a 2D top-down scrolling looking thing. Or you can take the one from the uh, regular Nintendo where it's a side scroller and 2D like that. What did, what happened with the 3D transition into the N64? We got the first Zelda game, Ocarina of Time, the first 3D Zelda game ever made. The first one. 
possibly it's in the top three Zelda games of everybody's top three Zelda games, Ocarina of Time. So did Nintendo do something Sega was unable to do? Because all of them, minus one, minus one. And the reason I say minus one is because I, I don't know if I would consider this game to have a great transition into 3D because it wasn't anything different and it didn't really take advantage of anything other than that 3D aspect. And I'm talking about uh, Star Fox. Star Fox 1 is basically the same game as Star Fox 64. They're the exact same type of game. Um, but would you consider that to be their only one that wouldn't have lived up to the greatest? Because, I mean, think about it. Mario 64 was in top three. Ocarina of Time, top three. And those are the first entries. And I don't think they've necessarily gotten worse. Now, they not they might not be the greatest, but they're right there at that bar for good. You know what I'm saying? If not, if not amazing. You know what I'm saying? Like, people still like Mario Galaxy 1. People still like Mario Sunshine. People were super thrilled Mario 64 was coming to Switch. And like I said, I'm just, I was thinking about this and I was like, man, am I tripping? Did Nintendo do something Sega couldn't? I mean, it would be very funny if it's true. And this is a debate I'm having within myself and you guys feel more free to drop a comment below because I feel like this is a really good debate topic. We can really, really dig into some nostalgia with this topic because like I said, everyone wants to bring up Sonic Adventure and how it's a good 3D game. Yeah, it's a good 3D game, but if we're being completely honest here, if you put Sonic Adventure up against Mario 64, Mario 64 is going to win that fight because not only is Mario 64 one of the top three Mario games of all time, it's also the very first Mario 3D game. There wasn't a 3D Mario game before Mario 64. And Sonic Adventure was on Sega's second 3D console. Not first, second. And this was Sonic's technically second 3D attempt. You see what I'm saying? So, I think, I think this brings up like retro gaming debating in a way that that can be really fun. You guys let me know. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. I made a post over there about it. Um, and I will talk to you guys later.